What's up, good people of the world? The Big Heavy out on a sunny and relatively cool day in the dirty south. And you've probably seen some of my other power bank tests where I do goofy stuff like make a latte or cook breakfast. But today we're going to do something a little more realistic. And if you're like me, when you've been in the market for power banks, maybe you have a dream of going off grid and building some you know, crazy hideaway in the mountains where you're using your battery bank to power all your tools since you're so far off grid. I want to try and duplicate that test a little bit today. I have some four x four pressure treated wood that I'm cutting for finishing up my pandemic treehouse. Ultimately, I'm not sure whether the pandemic or the treehouse is going to take longer to run its course, but hopefully the, uh, the treehouse will be done shortly. I'm putting up some railing today, and this uh, this lumber has been aged for a while, so it should be fairly dry. It's not the yucky, juicy stuff you get fresh out of the uh, the big box store, but it still should be pretty challenging to cut. Uh, I've got my trusty Bosch uh, miter saw here. It's a 15 amp saw, and it's going to be interesting to see what the power banks do. I've got the Jackery 1500, the Blue Eddy AC 200P, and I've also got the EcoFlow Delta Pro. I think I got that right. I always confuse the Pro and the Max, but it's the uh, the big EcoFlow. So this guy's probably going to do a big surge uh, when he starts up and draw a lot of current. It'll be interesting to see if the uh, the power banks can handle that. And then once he starts cutting into this uh, this lumber here, that should also put a pretty heavy draw on the bank. So we'll see. You know, number one can actually handle the current output and you know not uh, not trip their internal surge protectors. And number two, how much juice they use doing one cut. So, you know, if you use 20% of the battery on one cut, then that's probably not a very realistic use case for these. You know, we're, uh, we're ultimately gonna find out if it's viable to take one of these battery banks. You know, maybe if you've got a, a farm or a ranch or a, a large property, throw it on the back of your ATV or your tractor or whatever and use it to go and, you know, set up a remote, uh, little remote workshop out where you need to get some work done and be able to run your tools out there. So. On with the show, you'll see I've got a camera set up with each of the batteries. I can't actually see it here, unfortunately, because I wanted to keep those out of the sun so you can see the displays. But I will sync that video up and do the little picture-in-picture -picture trick, and we'll see what happens as we uh, as we cut through these, uh, these 4x4s. All right, so we got our first cut queued up. We're going to go from uh, smallest to largest on the battery pack. So we got this guy plugged into the Jackery 1500. I'm gonna spin the saw up, let it run for a second, make sure that it's it's not gonna cut out on me. And you'll see the picture in picture of how the pack performs. And you know, I'm going to sound like your dad for a minute because I am a dad, do have my eyes and ears on. Hearing loss is cumulative, it never grows back. So, you know, a good thing if you're running tools to, uh, to have some ears in and I've had crap flicked up into my eyes. So good thing to have your eyes on too. So let's see what happens. And I will uh, in post turn down the sound so you don't get blasted out here on the, the saw noise. All right. Well, that was a short and not so glorious test of the Jackery 1500. Uh, you know, tried to turn on the saw as you hopefully saw and heard, the blade spun up for maybe half a second and that guy shut down. So first, uh, first battery bank, the Jackery 1500 gets a thumbs down on running your chop saw. So let's transition over to the Blue Eddy and see how that guy does. All right, we've moved the extension cord over to the Blue Eddy AC200P. Let's see if we get any uh, better results there and see if we actually need our, our ears this time.
All right, so the Blue Eddy apparently was able to uh, pass the saw test with flying colors. It's kind of interesting because it uh, ran out of juice for me when I did the breakfast test, but you know, it got the saw spinning up. You can see, obviously with, uh, with this size saw, it's a 10 inch uh, miter saw. I had to rotate the, uh, the work a little bit to get my cut all the way through, but you know, two thumbs up to the Blue Eddy. So there's, uh, there's one interesting data point. If you're going to be cutting stuff, then Blue Eddy's your, uh, your tool so far. So we'll move over to the Delta Max or the Delta Pro, I'm sorry. Um, you know, that one I think shouldn't have any problem. That's the, the big chungus of the group, outputs the most, stores the most energy, but you never know, these inverters can be a little flaky sometimes. So we'll, uh, we'll set up the next cut and we'll see how that guy does. All right, so I just went in, moved the plugs over. I was uh, kind of surprised and impressed that the Blue Eddy was down. We started at about 100%, maybe 99. The battery meter said 98. Those are not perfect indications of how much capacity you have left, you know, all that stuff. But from a, a kind of nominal perspective, you know, I ultimately cut through a four by four piece of lumber, had to make three or four cuts. So, yeah, you could see, you could probably get a good, uh, depending on what you were doing and how many cuts you were making, you could probably get a good day, maybe half a day's worth of work out of that guy. So now we've moved over to the Delta Pro. Again, unless the inverter's very wonky in that one, I have no, uh, no doubts that'll run through this guy pretty easily, but it'll be interesting to see what it uses from a power perspective. Since that one has the biggest battery, obviously it's the biggest unit. And let's, uh, let's go for it. All right, so no problem making that cut. Uh, you know, hopefully you didn't get too much dust there in the video. And you know, hopefully my camera is, uh, is still happy after getting exposed to some pressure treated lumber dust, but we'll go see how the, uh, how the EcoFlow did in terms of its battery meter. So I just went in and checked out the EcoFlow. We started at 78%, ended at 78%. You know, again, the battery meters are not the, the best way of telling how these things go, but you know, from that perspective, you could probably, I would assume, get a day's worth of pretty good sawing work out of the EcoFlow. You know, you could even connect solar panels to either of these two units and have a little, you know, green energy workshop on a remote portion of your farm. Or, you know, if you're out, uh, out building a, an off the grid setup somewhere, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, you could also hook up a gas generator to one of these guys to recharge it which I think would be nice. You know, if you're out working, the, uh, the kind of old fashioned way to do it would be have a gas generator running the whole time. That gets a little annoying having, uh, having a motor running while you're trying to think and concentrate. So this guy gives you a little peace and quiet between charge cycles and, you know, theoretically something like the EcoFlow or even the Blue Eddy could probably get you through a day's worth of work, assuming you're not just spending all day cutting stuff. What's up, good people of the world? Big Heavy, want to give you a quick update. It's about seven hours since I shot that first segment, maybe a little more, and just finished up the railing on my Pandemic Treehouse, which is my long ongoing project that maybe I'll talk about someday. But I left, you know, out of sheer laziness, left the Blue Eddy uh, plugged, it, left the miter saw plugged into the Blue Eddy after doing those tests earlier and just kept running it throughout the course of this project. And you know, I didn't count how many cuts I made. You can kind of see the, the railing here. You can obviously see the, the wood that's new and there's some blocking underneath since I added two posts. So I don't know how many cuts that was, but it was a you know, pretty significant amount. And the Blue Eddy ran like a champ. Uh, the only thing that happened, I did one 45 degree cut and I think I didn't have the board supported well enough. So it was probably um, you know, twisting a little bit, putting some extra tension on the blade. I could feel the saw bogging down a little bit. My wife was walking by the Blue Eddy and said it was beeping. I looked through the fault list. It just had some uh, some over voltage faults on the AC. So 
you know, kept the, the saw running. Obviously, I was bumping up against or near um, some limit. But, you know, I finished the day with 76% left in the battery. So I'm really happy with that. You know, if this was a three or four person operation, we were building a whole deck and, you know, had someone just manning the saw all day, you know, maybe you'd, uh, you'd run out of juice. But, you know, for a single person, fairly elaborate and, you know, I guess, somewhat extensive railing build, you know, with a, a plenty of saw action, 24% of the battery is uh, is not bad at all. So I would feel pretty good if I had a, you know, big ranch and I was putting in a fence or, you know, putting a, a gazebo or a deck or, you know, a dock or something where I didn't have good access to power with running that sort of job off the, the Blue Eddy and probably getting a good, you know, day out of it. I think if you were a two-man operation where one person was just running the saw the whole time, you could, uh, you know, drive back to wherever you were, put that puppy on the charger during lunch, and you know, hopefully get yourself enough juice to uh, to be back in action, or maybe throw a solar panel on there and have that keep the uh, keep the machine going for you. So, pretty happy with uh, with that performance from the Blue Eddy. Uh, you know, I think he was the hero of the day. I'm sure the EcoFlow would have done fine as well, and you know, obviously have the bigger battery, so probably would have used a little less bit disappointed to be honest in the jackery 1500 i've i've been pretty happy with that unit for camping and all that stuff but obviously it uh, it crapped out as soon as i tried to run my miter saw off that sucker and i did try one other time and you know same result the, the blade didn't even get up to speed and it just shuts off the inverter so that's the end of my uh, my will it saw report and best of luck to you peace Ever wonder why every talking head on YouTube asks you to hit the like and subscribe button at the end of their video? You were right, because we're living in a computer simulation. And our benevolent robotic overlords get just a little bit of energy every time you hit that like. So do me, the rest of civilization, and our benevolent robotic overlords a favor. Match that subscribe, be kind to each other, keep living your simulated dreams.